Um, I, I love the annual meeting because it's my only chance to see uh, friends and colleagues whom I never see otherwise, and I'm sure everyone uh, you talk to says that. I confess that the thing I dislike most about the annual meeting is is the system of, of little papers that people stand up and give to, it seems like, what are increasingly smaller audiences every year, and that we don't use the time to talk to one another. Mm. So that there's a sense of, if you do go to a paper, it's like you're sitting in church, and you, and you have to be quiet, and you listen to the paper, and the very person very earnestly, and with you know, usually a lot of work that's gone into it, read something out, or even when they speak dynamically, it's still, it's just them talking for 15 or 20 minutes. Because they're packed into a panel with five other speakers, there's no time for discussion, and everyone files out, like, out of church, you know, out of the room, and then gets into the corridor and looks around and says, hey, and greets a friend, and says, in the best moments, I just heard an interesting couple of papers, oh, one of them stank, but, you know, two of them, three of them were really great. And people start talking, and that's the exchange that we need to figure out how to foster in a, in a slightly more organized way that's also not just contingent on who you're friendly with, but that brings people together, of, you know, younger scholars, people who are not in the academy, you know, who are working independently, people working as adjuncts along with senior professors. So I would love to see the annual meeting crack that problem uh, because that's my overriding memory of the APA, of the SCS, of the annual meeting, sitting in papers and thinking, why aren't we talking to one another instead of listening and then, you know, frustratingly saying, there's no time for, we, we all know that, like the, the head of the panel says, I'm afraid there's no time for discussion, and everyone says, ah. Um, but, uh, but I also have a couple of very fond memories of, uh, of arguments when there was time for discussion. Uh, uh, that were intense and where something was really at stake uh, that I, and again, I wish we had more of that 